Greetings! In today's video, I'm taking a look at the last special set, but none the least, made by Van Gogh. This one is possibly the weirdest of them all, as it's all red, pink and violet colors. We went from the regular 12 color set, to the vibrant set, to the muted one, to the nature set, and finally to this very monochromatic palette. There was also the metallic and interference set, which was quite unique on its own. I'll have links to these other reviews in the description, if you're curious. As with all the other sets so far, this one has the same white plastic box, removable tray and travel brush. This set includes 12 pans, all individually wrapped, from Talent's student range of watercolors, the Van Gogh range. The pans are only labeled with the color number, but you can find a name and pigment information on the wrapper. The really unique characteristic of this set is the color selection. It's composed of reds, pinks, purples, and violets, some a bit more muted than others. Of these 12 colors, 8 are single pigment paints. Two of them are from the Dusk series of colors that Van Gogh has, which are basically a mix of a granulating black and a staining bright pigment. The colors in this set are Mather Lake Light, Mather Lake Deep, Carmine, Quinacridone Rose, Rose, Permanent Red Violet, Permanent Blue Violet, Quinacridone Purple Red, Quinacridone Purple Blue, Lavender, Dusk Pink, and Dusk Violet. I noticed two things while swatching the colors. The first one is how the rose color, made with pigment PR122, is rather opaque. I don't think I've ever seen an opaque version of this color before, so I'm wondering if there's some pigment info missing here. The other transparent colors are perfectly transparent, so I doubt it's an additive added to their formula that is responsible for the opacity. The other thing I noticed is that the dusk colors are very pretty. I'm very fond of colors with a staining and a granulating combo. Now I wish I could get the full assortment of dusk colors from Van Gogh. All of the colors rewet really well and they are nice and vibrant. As per usual, I made a sketch to test out the colors. This palette is really unique, as what it lacks in diversity, it makes up for it in unity. This is a color assortment where you can use every single one of these, all 12 colors, on a single painting, and it's not gonna cause what we call the pizza effect. Being so limited in a color range makes for a really harmonious selection, in my opinion. I think that, as such, this is a great palette for coloring books and meditative coloring, or adding a bit of color in a journal. It's also a palette that's basically all the colors that are not in standard sets. Most 12 color sets will not have a purple, violet, or magenta color. This pinks and violets palette can be used as a way to switch out colors from a standard set and try out which cool red, pink, or violet you like the most. Overall, I love this palette a lot. It's a bit puzzling at first, but as a person who never gets enough of magentas and violets, I had to give it a try. What do you think of this palette? Should there be other similarly themed palettes? Let me know in the comments below. Take care, bye bye.